Hi guys. Oh, I hope you've had a good start to the week and it's nearly the weekend. Okay, we've got two days left to go. Okay, we're going to start with our phonics. So we're doing another tricky word this week. Okay, not this week, sorry, today. Um, so today we're doing called, the word called. Okay, so like um, I called my mum on the phone or uh, you could say I called the children in from playtime. Okay, lots of different uh, sentences we could use called in. Okay, so firstly, I want you to practice spelling called. So write a line in your book spelling called. Okay, so pause your screen and have a go at that for me. Super job, guys. Well done. <clears throat> so we're going to come up with another way to remember it like we did earlier in the week. So you made your own earlier in the week, but I've got one here. If you want to make your own, you can, but you can also use this one. So I've got cows and lions like eating daisies. Okay, cows and lions like eating daisies. And that will help us to spell called. So have a practice of that. Pause your screen and have a practice reading it and remembering it. Fantastic, well done. Okay, so what I want you to do is write your own sentence with the word called in it. And as a challenge again, I'd like to try and include our other two tricky words because the more we practice these, the better we will become. Okay, so off you go, have a go at that for me. Super job guys, well done. And that takes us to our reading. So we're still looking at the elephant's text, but we're looking at the second half, okay? So pause your screen and have a go reading it for me. Super job, well done. We'll read it all together. What do elephants do? Elephants are usually very gentle, but can get quite cross. Elephants are very clever and know how to find water even when it is far away. When they find water, they like to swim. Did you know? A mother elephant is called a cow, the dad is a bull and a baby is called a calf. Okay, so that takes us on to our questions. So the first question is another complete the sentence. Elephants are usually very... Okay, so what I want you to do is pause your screen and find where it says elephants are usually very and then finish off the sentence. Okay, off you go. Super job, guys. Well done. So it says here elephants are usually very gentle. Okay, but is that the end of our sentence? Is there a full stop? No. Okay, so the whole sentence we keep going to the full stop. Okay, so there is your sentence. So what you need to do is write out that sentence for number one. Okay, off you go. Pause your screens, remember, so that you've got enough time. Super job, well done. So number two, how do we know that elephants are clever? How do we know that elephants are clever? So pause your screens and find where it talks about elephants being clever and see if you can find how we know that they're clever. Fantastic. So here it says elephants are very clever. And then it tells us here, and know how to find water even when it is far away. Okay, so that tells us that they're clever because they know how to find water even when it is far away. Okay, I want you to have a go on your own putting that into a sentence for me for number, um, th uh, number, sorry, number two. Okay, I'll underline that again and then you can pause your screens and have a go at that for me. Okay, well done guys, we'll go on to number four. Number three, sorry, I'm getting the numbers mixed up today. Number three is what do elephants like to do? Okay, what do elephants like to do? So pause your screen and have a go at that one for me. Fantastic. So it says here at the bottom, they like to swim. 
Okay, so your answer should say, elephants like to swim. Okay, pause your screen if you need some more time writing that one, and then we'll go on to the next question. Super job, well done. So question number four, what is the name of a mother elephant? Okay, what is the name of a mother elephant? So pause your screen and have a go at writing that sentence for me. Super job, guys. So it says here, a mother elephant is called a cow. Okay, and it's got the whole sentence there, so that's easy because you can just copy that whole sentence out. Okay, so pause your screen while you finish writing that one off if you've not already done so. Super well done. And the last question is, what is the name of a baby elephant? Okay, so we'll go back to the text, pause your screen and have a go at that one for me. Fantastic, well done guys. So it says here, a baby is called a calf. Okay, so that should be your answer. If you need some more time, just pause the screen for a moment. Super job, well done. So that takes us on to our writing. So again, as we've been doing the rest of the week, I want you to write down three things that you have learnt from the text. Okay, so I'm going to put the text on. And I want you to write three things you've learnt. Okay, pause your screens and off you go. Fantastic guys, well done and I can't wait to see some of those. And that takes us on to our maths. So, can I share equally? Again, like we did yesterday. So you'll do it, what I would like you to do is find 20 objects. So again, it could be cars, it could be Lego, it could be stones, it can be anything you like. Okay, and I want you to share it between five. So share it into five, between five different groups. Share it between two groups and then share it between 10 groups, okay? And what you can either do is draw it as groups in rings in your books, and you can also take pictures of your groups and show me, okay? So share it equally. Remember, it has to be equal, so it has to be fair. It has to be the same in each group. I want you to share 20 objects between five, between two, and between 10, okay? Pause your screens, and off you go with that then, guys. Fantastic, well done. And that takes us on to our secure it. So we won't go through the do it together because I'm going to have a look at those pictures that you'll send me um, of your objects in the different groups. Okay, so your secure it, it's similar to the problem we did yesterday. Okay, Grant and Lauren are sharing five cakes. Okay, so here are the five cakes and they've got to share them. Grant says they can share the cakes between them equally. Is Grant right and why? So is Grant right? He says they can share the cakes equally. Is he right? Okay. So pause your screens and have a go at that for me. Okay. So is Grant right? No, he's not right. Okay. So you should have said no, he is not right. And why not? Let's have a chat about why not, okay? So they've got five cakes, okay? Can they share them equally? So we can split them, so we can say Grant can have this one, Lauren can have one, Grant can have two, Lauren can have two, but then there is only one cake left. Okay, so, so far they've got an equal amount, they've got two each, but now there is one cake left. If Grant gets the cake, will they be equal? Will they have shared them equally? No. If Lauren gets the cake, will they have shared them equally? No, they won't have. Okay. So what we call this when we're sharing is that is the remainder. Okay, so they've shared five cakes. They get two cakes each, but we've got a remainder of one. Okay, we can't share that into the group equally. Okay, so that is our remainder. 
it's one that's left over at the end. We cannot share that. Okay, so grant is not right because there will be one left over. Okay, and that takes us to our deep in it. Each child has the same amount of sweets. The amount of sweets that they have is less than 20. They share the sweets equally in different ways. Can you work out how many they had to begin with? So Max says, I share my sweets between two bags and none are left over. Okay, so no matter how many sweets he started with, it has to be less than 20. But he's managed to share them between two bags and he doesn't have any left over. Okay, Lexi has managed to share her sweets between five bags and she has one sweet left over. Robin has shared her sweets between 10 bags and she's got six left over. Okay, so what I'd like you to do for this one is have a go at how you can work that out now. You all might use different methods for this. So I'd like you to send me a picture of what you've done so that I can have a look at them because you might have all done it slightly differently, okay? But have a go exploring that question and seeing if you can come up with different ways of working these out, okay? So pause your screen while you have a go at that for me. Super job, well done guys. And I'd like remember to send me your pictures of how you've done your working out. Maybe you've used some objects, maybe you've done some drawings, okay? But I'd love to see that, okay? And that's the end of our video today. So we've got one more tomorrow and then it will be the weekend. Okay, so have a good evening and I'll see you all tomorrow.